Yeah, hello beloved. God is looking for his sheep. Some of them have not necessarily strayed away, but they're just in the kingdom doing nothing. God is talking to people right now. If you are called and you're not doing anything that you have been purposed to do, you are very much in the wrong and you need to repent fast. Some of you are like Prophet Jonas, Jonah. You are going through certain trials and problems because you are rejecting the call of God. But for some weird reason, you are blind to that fact. You are busy with your business. Your business is failing. God, why is my business failing? Why is this failing? Why are things not working out? Yet you are not answering the call of God. The answer is right before your eyes. If your life is not going as you wish or as you want it to be, are you answering the highest call that anyone can ever get? The call of God. Are you doing what God has told you to do? Some people say, you know what, I just want to get manifest and you know, I can start serving the Lord freely and properly. Bro, some of you, the money will never come until you have started serving the Lord, until you have started obeying his voice. I do not know what is it that has made us put God, you know, a second on a second on a second position, like, okay, God, let me just get money and then I'll see you later. Is that what we're doing, God? <laughs> like, let me get money first and I'll see you later. I'll do what you said after I get some money. Guys, this is a serious thing and we need to repent. We need to do what God has told us to do. Start working and the money will come. Start working and the money will come. God who has formed you in your mother's womb. God, God is not stupid. God has already formed you. God had a plan. God, and God put you in that plan so that you can be part of that plan. God did not just second guess. God did not just, you know, he just, he, he doesn't rush things. He made a plan. And in his plan, he wanted you to serve him doing what he has called you to do. And if you are not doing that, you are, you are, you are, you are in a very compromising position. So please, be, God has called a lot of us for different things. Pray for nations, pray for people, you know, go heal people, but you're still waiting for confirmation because you have been told that praying for, for the sake is a dangerous thing. Guys, I do not know what God has called you to do. How, be it a minor thing and be it a good thing. Start working towards that thing today. Don't say, okay, let me just uh, uh, finish up my business. Let me just get, let me, let me be financially stable. For, guys, some of these things don't work. Looking for money or saying, okay, let me get my money first and then I'll serve you. Guys, that is a sin. That is a sin. Let's, let's not be the ones who say, God, let me, get, let me be financially stable and then I can start giving. Let me be financially stable and then I can start doing. Let me be financially stable and then I can start a church. Let me be financially stable and then I can serve you. I mean, is that what we have? Is that the position that we have put God, I mean, we can answer your business call, but you can never answer the call of God, which might not, not necessarily be about the business. We have put things of this world before things of the world to come. We have put things of the flesh before things of the spirit. Yet we claim to be working according to the spirit. Uh, guys, this is an error and we have to fix it fast. I'm, I'm telling you, some of you will never have money until you have answered the call of God. But you are busy going about looking for money and ignoring the call of God. It will never come. And you always feel like things are not working out for you. Because you are ignoring the most important man. How can you ignore God? I mean, how can you ignore God? You can pray for every other thing but your call. Ah, oh, guys. Mm-mm. Some of these things, some of these things that we're doing that we want, we will never get them because we're ignoring God. We think we're not ignoring God, but we're actually ignoring God and His heart's desire and His plan. We're turning our back on God and saying, your plan does not matter for now. My plan matters. Is that what we're saying? God, what you want to do, not now, let me make manifest. And then we're also trying to rush God, like, God, prosper me now so that I can save you. Ah, ah. Well, like Jonah. Well, like Jonah was swallowed by a whale. And instead of being swallowed by a whale, or swallowed by poverty, or swallowed by brokenness, or swallowed by a whole lot of things. Because we are ignoring the most important being 
the creator of heaven and earth, the alpha and the omega, the one who gives you even the money that you are praying for. Guys, mm -mm. let's come correct. Jesus is coming and his coming is very close. And I do not want you to be one of those people that were idle. Um, in, in, is it in, in Matthew chapter 20? The Jesus was lacking in the kingdom of God to, to, to like, a man had servants, he hired people, and some of them were idle. I mean, okay, never mind this, but let's not be idle. And so, let's not be idle. Let's not sit on our hands, especially when it comes to our calling, our calling, our calling our calling. It is very important. We claim we want to advance the kingdom of God, but we are ignoring our calling. Oh God, give me money and then I'll be a blessing. <laughs> Start being a blessing now without money. You can be a blessing without money. Start doing now and God will add on to what you are doing as you are serving. We are here to serve the Lord. We are here for a purpose and that purpose is divine. The reason why you came into this world was because God put you here so that he can do something through you. And whatever it is that he wants to do through you, he will empower you and he will give you all that you need. But don't say, God, give me all the tools first. No, just start working. The tools will come. Please, please. I, I'm, I'm also a victim of this. I haven't been doing as much as I was supposed to be doing. Actually, I was doing, I've been doing the bare minimum. But hey, God, God has been speaking strongly to me that I must start serving, 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 serving Him. So right now, I'm really, I'm really out here and I, I want to do the most for the Lord. Not just because it is what I've been called to do and what the highest man, the one who, the giver of life, the giver of life, is the one who has said, I've called you and you're not doing my calling. But yet, you want me to prosper your business. If you're not doing it now, I don't think you'll ever do it. Money is just an excuse. So the money will not come until you, until you start doing what God wants you to do. So please, do what God wants you to do. Be it, it could be, it could be something small. I don't believe that there's anything that is insignificant in the kingdom of God. It, any action always leads to something great. When God says, give somebody a right, give somebody a right, you might not know that that person might get murdered along the way. You might not know that that person was supposed to, you know, to be a general for nations, to be a savior for this nation, to be a prophet, to be an apostle of nations, to be the very same person who will deliver you and your troubles in the future. You never know. So whatever it is that God tells us to do, be it what you think is minor or major, do it. Let's do it and let's obey the Father and fulfill our purpose. Let's not put our earthly, you know, desires and plans before the heavenly one. So that, that is just what I wanted to share with you guys, that let's serve the Lord with all our heart. Let's not just say it, but let it be seen in our actions. That when God says do, we do. God says jump, we jump. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm praying right now. That somebody may hear this word and start doing. Start preaching. For you to start preaching, you don't need a stage. You don't need a pulpit. YouTube, free and Facebook, free. To go into the streets and just to talk to people, it's free. You don't need money. You don't need money. Right now, I need money for a haircut. I haven't gotten a haircut. I don't look fresh. Well, I don't look very presentable. But I'll still do it whether I look presentable or I don't look presentable. Because there's a calling, there's a mandate that is above me, that is beyond me, that I have to fulfill. So please, for the love of God, start pursuing. If you are an intercessor and you are sleeping every day, every night, start praying. I pray that God may revive you, the hunger, the gifts, the call, the mandate, everything that God has deposited in you, let it come back to life in the name of Jesus. Please, please, I love you, God loves you, and God wants to see you do far more 
And God wants to prosper you. You remember the famous verse that we're always uh, quoting. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. You have sought the kingdom. And the kingdom has told you, serve God. Do this. But you're not doing it. But you, yet you want the prosperity. Just because you have found Christ, it does not mean that the prosperity will come. You know, the protocols and the, 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 the guidelines that you must follow. Your pattern and your... Your, your, your rising in the kingdom will be different from anybody else, but this one main thing is important, and it is a base for each and every soul, serving the Lord, pursuing your call. Please, please, serve the Lord with all your heart and all your being. Let's not make God a second option. Let's not make God, let's not put God in the, in the closet, in the, in the back bench. But in all things, let's make sure that we have put God before ourselves. Might be out of focus, might be in focus, but hey, if you hear me, just do this. Bye-bye.